Next question is from Not So Fluffy Dev. I'm a single father of two young boys living miles away from friends and family. How did your clients stay consistent with their training and what type of workouts did you suggest to someone who had a few minutes to themselves at night after the kids were put to bed? Is it possible to build a healthy metabolism with only body weight exercises and no access to gym equipment? Yes, it is. Yeah. So here, okay, here's something that is just, this is a very important lesson to understand when it comes to, well, probably everything in life, but let's talk about exercise here and fitness for a second, is that there are things in your life that are just uncontrollables, right? So you're a single dad of two kids, by the way. Um, you know, I, I commend you. Uh, it's, a, it's hard enough being a father with a wife. I can't imagine being a, a single father. So that's really, really tough. So obviously, they're important to you. You're not going to change that. Your life is busy. Okay, there's nothing you can do about that. So let's work with that. Okay, you got a few minutes at night. That's enough time to do two or three exercises. And so what I would do with this person, if this was my client, is I'd say, do two or three exercises every single night when you put the kids to bed and you have a little bit of time to yourself. So rather than doing long workouts, which you don't have the time to do three days a week, then fine, do 10 minutes, you know, seven days a week, right? 10 minutes, seven days a week is 70 minutes of exercise. Um, and especially if you do slow movements, even though you don't have equipment, you provide, a, you create a lot of tension with the increased frequency of training on an almost regular basis, you will definitely see uh, positive results. I mean, I would love to see this person take a page of the last question that we talked about with the, the two-a-days, right? So maybe maybe you don't get you know a full hour at the end of the day, but maybe you have 10, 15 minutes multiple times throughout the day right. and do a program like our uh, MAP suspension trainer. Mm -hmm. I mean, getting the suspension trainer, having it hooked up somewhere at your house, and so maybe you're prepping dinner and you go over and mm -hmm. get like 15 push-ups on it, then you're doing stuff later on with the kids and you can do some bicep. I mean, I would do, you know, I'd have a goal of like exercises that I can do on that, you know, or follow the program so you get an idea what's in there. And then I would break them up throughout the day. Everybody has this idea that you have to sit down or not sit down, go to the gym or be working out for an hour for it to be really effective. I mean, mm. you could break this up in four 10 minute sessions throughout the day and get incredible shape that way. In fact, probably better shape that way. So you don't have to confine yourself to this only this only this one block of time that you feel this freedom. You know, get something like that that's versatile that you can just hang up in your house or take with you to the park and go places. And when you can strap it up and do a few movements, this is probably one of the single greatest things that's changed with my own training. Yeah. It took me a while to, to get to this point because even myself as a trainer thought like this way that I, oh, if I didn't get that full hour hard workout, it wasn't mm -hmm. good enough. I train a lot of times one exercise, you know, or just a couple in the day or, you yeah. know, broken up like little that. Little bites like that. I think that's perfect. Yeah. If if you can just find those opportunities, I mean, there's, and to, to address the body weight thing, like we created an entire program for body weight with, you know, maps anywhere. And that's something too, that you could split up, you know, into chunks and do 15 minutes, you know, like you're saying, or, you know, and, and there's lots of ways to really intensify that. If that's what your worry is that like, I'm not getting enough intensity in these exercises, you know, there's a lot of ways to challenge your body from different angles uh, and progress uh, just by body weight. But, uh, you know, it's it, it requires you to follow something that's very specifically, you know, laid out. Yes. And in, in low to moderate intensity done very frequently over time produces great results. It, it You don't have to always train uh, super hard. I had a client like this uh, and she would work out twice a day. 15 minutes each time. So there was like in the morning and then she would do it uh, when her kids went to school. And so she did 30 minutes a day, but she did it every single day and she was in phenomenal shape. And so she figured out a way to work it into her schedule. And those short workouts, again, if you do, if you do them frequently, you're going to get great results. And here's the thing, even if you're limited, even if you're limited to one of them, it's still more than nothing yeah. and it's still going to improve. It just keeps that signal alive. That's and, right. And that's what you need to focus on. Yeah, what you don't want to do, and this is the this is the challenge, is you don't want to get stuck in a situation where you say, yeah, a little bit is, is not enough, therefore I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. Okay? A little bit is better than nothing. A little bit is a lot better yeah. than nothing. That's the important thing here to, to pay attention to.